so we're done uh, I never ever want to make another album again it's been horrible <laughs> uh, you've been terrible I know everybody's been a pain in the ass been... uh, I think after I make someone else do all the hard work now um, I'm just done really forever like that's it you know? well, we've done so we've done uh, accordion Hammond piano fiddle fiddle uh, harp yeah, uh, bazooki, bazooki, mandolin, mandolin whistles, whistle, all the whistles, Oolian pipes. Yeah. Is that it? Oh, uh, and all the percussion. Yeah. Boron. Bones. Bones. Cow bones. It's been. Um, and an African drum, an but African only drum. tapped at the sides. Yeah, it's been uh, here at Westland Studio in Dublin. I think what we wanted to do is we wanted to. Because we sort of got these tracks and they were, they're sounding good, but we wanted to put something on them which was going to give them more life and add a sort of. And it's also that thing of getting a story, because like when you come and do something like this, you you start to knit a narrative into the record, and that narrative mm. spreads out through social media, but also through the way that we feel about the record as well, because we've now all had this experience together, and we're all kind of more bonded to this record as a consequence. I, think it's, I was saying to Rick earlier on that you know. You know Done this a few times with different things like going to different places mm. and it actually works apart from when it's totally shit which it is from time to time <laughs> but when it's good like this it works really well because you sort of you know you go, oh that's that that's that thing we did then you yeah. know what I mean? well, that's that thing and, and there's stories and, it, and it's it's the story of the yeah because when you make records in bedrooms you don't have any story apart and from, also like well you laid down all the we laid down most of the instruments but like on plugins like so fake, right. fake instruments so yeah. basically we've come here to record them a little bit Terribly, because everything on the things are yeah. all. It's like they're too perfect. They're too perfect, so they sound yeah. bad. So we came here to record the last perfect ones. Yeah. But, but it's, when the, it's the wrongness of all the stuff. It's the Keeley element of everything. Yeah. When everything plays together, it yeah. just it just makes sense. And I think that comes in the, everything we've recorded. It sounds like people in a room because because it was people in a room. Because it was people in a room. Yeah, but when you make records on machines, what you tend to do is you tend to the only th the only thing you've got is to make it more perfect. That, and mm -hmm. actually. Sometimes it's a bit counterintuitive, but sometimes like making things more perfect doesn't make the record better, it just makes it more perfect, which actually mm. is just great. an end in itself, but it's not actually a good end. So it's like really the more broken and and devastated the record is, the more Janet sits happily upon it. And the more shiny and polished and perfect it gets. More that chase me. <laughs> Can't have that. So Paul Olwyn, the engineer, Olwyn is going to collate all this recording. Then we're going to take it back to London and then we'll kind of mess, chop it about a bit, okay. make it sort of fit properly, and then and you're going to ignore every other project you got going on. That's you're going right, to put yeah. all your love and attention into the Janet Davenport project. Then Janet will finish writing a book. <laughs> By the time she's finished writing a book, it'll be finished <laughs> for definite, one hundred percent guaranteed. The day your Got book's me. finished, this record will be finished. <laughs> See you in two thousand and twenty-two. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> I'm very, very lucky that people have stuck around as long as I have. Yeah. I was saying that to the vlog camera the whole trip. I was like, I don't know what I've done to be like so lucky to have like good teams and nice people around. Maybe it's good karma for all the bad people <laughs> that I have had. But even so, like the world owes you nothing. You don't deserve anything, and that's the way the world works. So I'm very, very lucky to be yeah, in this it's position. It's a good solid team, isn't it? Yeah. It feels like. But like some people work their whole life and they don't get a sit where I got to sit today. She's actually got really bossy since she's been here and really super organised, and she's been. Taking, making lists and telling us all what to do, which is quite refreshing. But it's been, it's been very helpful. It's made we got it has, stuff yeah, done very yeah. quickly. You know, yeah, no, been... we've, we've all pretended how helpful it's been. <laughs> <laughs> and on that note, da da da. Yeah. Thanks, Jonathan. Bye. And bye, bye, everybody. Bye. Bye. See you sometime, hopefully. Cut. <laughs>